knowing about the wild, the wild manifest and venturing four years in my life around. I am so sorry, but our Miracle Diwali is sold out. Thousands has been sold. And I keep getting all these messages about, Sal, how do I get one? You can't get it anymore. I created something special. Now, our Miracle Abundance Diwali kit, you have all these items for free when you get your Miracle Diwali bracelet as well. It is an abundance kit for people's manifesting love and money. And this could be at your doorstep in just two to three days. Free shipping in the US and we ship to more than 90 countries across the globe visit my website things can be a little bit challenging huh for the what for the past couple of days um because there's a lot of movement a lot of things in your life <laughs> jupiter retrograde saturn is still retrograde we have a super full moon also I, um depends on the time that you're watching the 16th or the 17th of october and all this are like, you know, Mars is going to go to your eighth house, a uh, ninth house, sorry, in Cancer. And the transformation that is needed from you, Scorpio, is intense, is intense. And I'll be very surprised that, you know, I'm very surprised that you're surviving. But keep it going, okay? <laughs> we'll see. We're going to do your tarot, okay? We're going to do your astrology. We have a lot to catch up on. As Oh, ooh, okay, people be crazy, okay, because... These are everyone who has been getting their um, uh, their Miracle Diwali kit, of course. The first one that I did is already sold out, so that one I cannot remake. And I created something new, of course, as always, and something like, ooh, like there's a punch into it, of course. Um, I'll talk more about it in a little while, but this is your free kit, okay? Um, we have Manifestation Masters. Uh, I have shared there the yes are we wanting something for 2025 it's a free charm that i'm giving there so you can uh, check it out and join we have a manifestation master's kit for free as well there's a lot of uh, things in manifestation masters that i teach especially about manifesting love or money in a very basic i'm very basic look at me like i'm basic uh, <laughs> so in an easier way all right so and Probably majority who's there are <laughs> a hardcore Scorpio. Okay. Bring in the money, Sal, okay. or the love. So let's see. And just on a special day, okay, I feel like, ooh, Four of Cups, you're a little bit like waiting for a message. How about we do... Um, we do an extended also for this. Ooh, Sal. Okay, let's see. Okay. So um, it'll be an extended reading to this. Let's see, let's see. Let's see what the Scorpios have for me. Okay. We're liking it. Cool, calm, collected. Venus is in the first house for you right now. And definitely, look at that. Oh, I'm a monitor. There you go. Empress mode, right? Ooh, we love an Empress mode. You attract. You're a, ooh, okay. You're a magnet, okay? And I'm telling you, they don't stop. They don't stop. No. Uh -huh. Because they scared, like, you know, because of, like, I only run on limited uh, uh, item. Empress, you attract, you manifest. Venus is in the first house. A wonderful placement for relationship. Okay? Because Venus now sits in the head, right here, in this area. And, of course, attraction from the other person, which is your seventh house. Jupiter is there. So now people see you. Yeah, people see you like in a different light in a different light more about like falling for you magnetic okay so i don't know if you have this in your chart but um if you do like in your birth chart in your d1 um relationship comes to you okay let me explain why people sometimes would wonder how come i'm the one chasing and how come you know like i you know like i want them to chase me but i always find myself chasing uh so there's 12 houses in astrology okay uh, above us uh -huh. if venus sits, sits between the first all the way to the seventh you will be the they come to you okay so venus in the first house they come to you venus in the second they come to you now anything kind of after the seventh so the seventh is tricky all right the seventh is basically like an in-between either you come to them or they come to you but the seventh after the seventh so eight nine ten eleven twelve where venus is that person becomes the chaser okay 
But you're not always going to be the one chasing. Let's just say you have Venus in the 8th, Venus in the 9th, or Venus in the 10th. You're not always because there's a transit, there's a dasha. If you are in the dasha of Venus, then naturally they just come to you right away. Um, the transit right now, Venus is in the first, so naturally the, the, you, know, you get a break from chasing if you are the always the chaser. Does it make sense? Because you will find it like right now, you can say, like, yeah, it's different. It's like, I didn't even text, I didn't da, da, da. But they come to me, Sal. But that's for a period of 30 to 35 days while well, Venus is in the first house. So we all get a break from our chart, you know, technically, because there are transit is always moving. But there is something innate in nature. So as soon as Venus leaves the first house and you don't have it in the first to seventh, then you'll find yourself probably the one actively chasing again. So this is when we say the tides has turned, the tables has turned, right? So now you understand why a masculine person or energy or a male person it's like, I don't know. It's like, they want to be chased. I don't chase, you know. But the thing is, it's like that person probably has a Venus in the first house. And it's not, it's uh, it's uncharacteristic for a male, right, to be the one being chased. But majority is like, you know, like they're good looking and all those things. And then women just flock towards them. Then chances are they have Venus in the first or in the, you know, the one to seven. And then they're just magnetic, right? And all of a sudden they meet someone like you. Who doesn't chase and then now they feel like they have to chase does it make sense okay so it creates balance so i know you got bored with that one empress because right? people don't like to learn they just want to know about their ex <laughs> are they coming so mm, we'll see okay so empress is here let's see queen of pentacles money honey is the theme here okay which is good the Queen of Pentacles is stability. The Queen of Pentacles is the Scorpios are saying, I want to buy a house. I want to improve my career. Um, Queen of Pentacles, like, I got bills to pay. I got kids to, you know, like, you know, my family first, right? And I see the Queen of Pentacles and Empress promotion, you know, hierarchy in the, in the job environment. Business success also, right? So this is where all your energies are coming in right now. Now, since we're doing an extended, we'll do a split. Okay. Queen of Pentacles right here. And do you and then them, right? Let's see. So you're all about money. <laughs> you're all about you. Uh, definitely. There's nothing wrong with that one. Earnings, finances, you know. We like that. And there she goes. Scorpius likes to sabotage, I have to say this, my read. Okay, no, no, your read. Okay, Scorpio. Because every, every time I tell you, it's like, oh, money, money, money. It's like, no, I want love. Oh, yeah. No, but it's true. Like what I told you, Venus in the first. Look at that. Is it focusing? I don't know. All right, here we go. See, the Scorpius doesn't even want to focus on the card. Knowing about the world. The Wally manifest. Adventuring four years my life around. I am so sorry, but our Miracle Diwali is sold out. Thousands has been sold. And I keep getting all these messages about, Sal, how do I get one? You can't get it anymore. I created something special. Now, our Miracle Abundance Diwali kit. You have all these items for free when you get your Miracle Diwali bracelet as well. It is an abundance kit for people's manifesting love and money. And this could be at your doorstep in just two to three days. Free shipping in the U.S. and we ship to more than 90 countries across the globe. Visit my website. Easy to get They're like, no, I, I, no, Sal, no. Is it a two cups? Okay. I like to be extra because it's my channel. So nobody tells me how to do my reads. Okay. No, Sal. Is it? A, is it a soulmate? Okay. Well, two of cups. Jupiter and Venus looking at each other. Super full moon in your fifth house. Dating and romance. Some of the Scorpios will take advantage of, uh, of that energy manifesting. And I shared it earlier, or not, not earlier, on the previous reading. Today is the most auspicious day, especially for you who is connecting. Okay? When I say auspicious, I follow certain things when I manifest. Anything that you purchase that is mystical today, such as your Miracle Diwali, which I put it here, uh, so you guys can see even more. Okay, You get the Earth-free kit. Now, you have a love or money oil that comes with it, and then, of course, the lamp. You will light this because this is the you know uh, the Diwali. The Diwali has helped me so much. It's the victory of light over darkness. And of course, I love this. This one is giving. Can I do like an ASMR? I don't have nails. <laughs> okay, I hear that. 
Okay. But yeah, so this okay, is a whole caboodle, a kit. Okay, it's free. And then you get your charging plate right here, selenite, and it's smudge. Okay. So the intention when you get this, of course, I'll make it for you. These are handcrafted. Is to manifest this. And today is the most special. I cannot stress you even more because super full moon in the fifth house, Venus in the first, Jupiter in the seventh. This will not happen again. Um, if I have to move it, like probably um, not even in 100 years because Rahu is in the fifth. And that takes 18 years for a cycle. Jupiter is in the seventh. That takes 12 years in a cycle. Venus is every year. But this specific combination, okay, that can favor money, empress, and then two of cups, love, is very crucial. But if you have 100 years ahead of you and you can tell me like you're a vampire, it's okay. You don't need to manifest this today. You don't need this today. You can get it in your next reincarnation. Free shipping in the U.S. and we ship to more than 90 countries across the globe. Link is down there. Thank you. So, some, like what I told you, the cards will never lie. You already have a two of cups right here. Mm-hmm. And that's on the side. Have you met this person? How do they feel towards you? Well, mm -hmm. there's one here specific for love and then one specific for money. It has all the things that I use every time right here. Okay, I'll put it here so you guys can see even more. Okay, let me get my Lemurian crystal right here. So the energy of the soulmate comes to you because Knight of Swords with a Chariot. I feel like you're a person right now who's like, go, 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 Scorpio. You're like... I have to be this, I have to be that. So you're unstoppable with regards to like your um, desires. Uh -huh. Well, Mars is in Gemini right now in your eighth house. So you're in the latter part of this transformation if you're getting the Empress. Uh -huh. So haircut, hair color, different wardrobe, the style is totally different you. Uh -huh. But once it goes to the ninth house, you'll have all this energy even more. It is in debilitation sign, which is coming the later part of October. But once it goes there, you'll have this energy. It's like, you know what? I've done my transformation. I have my faith within me, and I'm going to keep going and going and going. Good. Okay. We like. We definitely like, Scorpio. Let's proceed, Sal. Okay. Ooh. Uh, four of Swords from their side. Which only means, Scorpio, I'll put this here. Okay. Someone has been thinking about you. Hear me out. Four of Swords is meditating, contemplating, wondering, right? That's a Four of Swords. But your person does not respond. The feeling is there. The communication is not. I know, right? So that's kind of like, ooh, so then why? I've done everything. You know, the glow up is the Empress. The Queen of Pentacles is like, I'm really focusing on me, you know? They like that about you, but I don't know uh, how to call that. Tongue-tied, your person, Four of Swords. They're healing from something. Mm-hmm. Ooh. But you're itching, Scorpio. Eight of Wands. Text, call, see them. It's like, so I want to text them. What happens if you text them? What happens if you see them? What happens? We don't know. But every day, the Scorpio feels and sees, okay, it's like, no, I want to text him. 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 That's the eight of wands right there. Okay. It's because you see the sign, symbol, and synchronicity. You hear the song. You see the number. You see all these things happening around you. And you always want to like, oh, so, you know. It's like eight of wands. It's like, maybe I should see them. Maybe I should reach out because it's been a while. Okay. Okay. See that with the eight of wands. So your guides are telling you right now to text them to see them. Okay. I don't know if this is giving X vibes. I don't know. I don't see that this is, um, you know, I don't know. You would be the one to, to tell me that. Okay. Only thing I know is like that someone loves you, shuts down on you, and now you have an inkling feeling. It's like, I want to talk to them. I want to see them. And you know when a Scorpio wants something, they ain't stopping. Woo! <laughs> Scorpios! I see it. I have to say it. Let me calm down. Because it ain't your read, not unless there is the tower, something about an obstacle. Okay, so this is something sudden that is about to manifest. And look at that, a four of wands 
which is a relationship, a connection, and a partnership. If I was a cross watcher, I would want to know, wait, is this Scorpio going to be with me? I'm sure you're dying. What happens next? Link down below for the extended reading to watch the remaining part.